Hey everyone, this is Lauren Price Napier and I instruct mandolin for Heinemann Settlement School's Pick and Bow after school music lesson program. Um, this week we'll be covering Twinkle Twinkle Little Star in the key of D on your mandolin. Um, but just in case you don't know, here's a few basic tips to get you started, things you need to know. So first of all, we'll start with naming the strings of the mandolin, okay? So this I call the top string because it's the one that's closest to me. Some people might call it differently, reversed, um, reverse it. But to me, this is, this is my top string and it's your heaviest looking string. Okay, so when you're holding the mandolin this way, it's the one that's closest to you, up. So this is your G. It sounds like that when you pick. Now going down from there, we have D, A, and E. So even though you have eight strings on the mandolin, the two strings make four pairs. And the two strings of each pair are tuned together. So you have two Gs, two Ds, two A's, and two E's. Now when you pick though, and when you play, you end up just striking those pairs simultaneously more or less. So you don't pick the individual strings within a pair, you just pick the string and it sounds itself. Now for some introductory chords, um, it will help if you have a tuner for your instrument and that can help you tune your strings and get them, especially for the mandolin, to get both strings within a pair to match the same pitch. That's what you want. Um, but if you don't have a tuner, you can tune by ear listening to the sound of my strings. So I'll go through that one more time. This is your G, your D, A, and E. Okay, so now we'll go over a few of your introductory chords for the mandolin. And these I call strumming chords. You might see a guitar player strum rhythm. Um, and we can kind of do this on the mandolin too, especially for more traditional fiddle, fiddle tune style songs. Um, there's a couple different ways to play chords on the mandolin, but right now we'll focus on strumming. So putting your fingers on what we call frets is how you determine your position on the strings and where you need to be to hit the correct note at the time that you're playing. So it's it works very simply. You just count to determine what fret you need to be on. So if you're just playing the string without doing anything with your left hand, without noting on the fretboard or the, the neck of the mandolin, um, we call that playing an open string. So this would be your open G. You're just picking the string by itself. You're not fretting with your left hand. But when you do start to fret, all you do is count. So if I say first fret, that's this first space here. And let me uh, bring the mandolin a little closer to the camera. So this is open, one, two, Seven and so on. That's how that's how you identify what note you need to play uh, just by saying, okay, open string, fourth fret, fifth fret, four, two, open, and so on. But for Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, this is going to be in the key of D. And so a way to strum a D chord is by placing your first finger on the second fret of your G string, so it makes that note, and placing your middle finger on the second fret of the E string. So your two middle strings, your D and your A, are open, and you strum it down and it sounds like this. 
and that's an open sounding D chord. For a G chord, you place your first finger on the second fret of the A string, middle finger on the third fret of the E string, and then you can strum all the strings down to make an open G chord. We'll do a couple more. A C shape is the same as G, only moved to your middle strings. You don't play the bottom string, your E string. So second fret, third fret on your D and your A strings, and you can also strum your open G with this one. That's your C shape. And now for an A shape, one simple way to do this is just putting your first finger on the second fret of your D string, that note, and strumming from there down. At this moment, we won't use your G string with that. So that creates an open A chord sound. D, G, A, and C. Now let's go through Twinkle Twinkle Little Star in the key of D. Okay, and I will play it through one time and then I'll come up close and uh, break it down a little bit slower. Lastly, here's your close-up take on Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. And so we're going to start off with an open G D string twice. That's your first twinkle, twinkle. And then an open A string twice. That's another twinkle, twinkle. And then the frets that we're going to use with our to push down with our left hand will only be either a two, four, or five on your A and D strings, okay? So we'll play it slow, we'll go through it slow and see if you can just follow along with my hands and with your ears and you can pick up on the tune, okay? So starting on your open D, going to your open A and then we'll go to the second fret of your A string. So here we go. And you'll notice that I'm using my first, middle, and ring fingers to fret um, two, four, and five, like that. If you can't do that at first to start with, you might need to work up your way to using all three fingers, starting with your first, okay, and then gradually work up the strength for your middle and your ring. But that is the correct technique to at least work up towards. But for now, you know, focus on getting the tune however you can but keep in mind um, the techniques that you need to practice. Thank you for watching this lesson. Follow our channel for more video music lessons. You can find our channel on YouTube at Heinemann Settlement School Pick and Bow Music Program. The Pick and Bow After School Music Program is coordinated by the Traditional Arts Program at Heinemann Settlement School. 
This project is a component of the In These Mountains Central Appalachian Folk Arts and Culture Initiative and supported in part by a grant from South Arts, a nonprofit regional arts organization. Learn more at www.heinemann.org and www.southarts.org.